Hi everyone! Welcome back to Kinder Crafty. Today I'm going to do my first craft of the holiday season. Can you believe it? I know it's only mid-November um, and actually this project just came about at spur of the moment. I just thought of it like an hour ago. I had intended to show you my first craft uh, for the holiday season had intended to be my advent calendar and I was going to do it like December 1st or whatever closer to December um, but I have tons of these blocks tons of them and my husband is constantly telling me you need to pare down some of that teacher stuff you need to pare down some of that teacher stuff because even though I have a storage unit I brought a lot of stuff home too <laughs> so I have a huge box of these like one inch blocks in all different colors and so I thought what can I do with that here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna spell out the word believe and I'm gonna put these little blocks on a ledge in my son's bedroom he has this little like pottery barn shelf that hangs above the spare bed in his bedroom and it's nautical themed right now it's got sailboats little wooden sailboats and a big black and white print of him playing in the water um, and I'm gonna take that stuff down and make it Christmassy. So I thought this would be really cute up there because you know blocks and little babies and anyway, I thought it would be cute. So let me just for, for kicks show you the size of this box of blocks that I brought home. <laughs> and you'll understand why my husband's telling me to get rid of stuff. Okay, it was filled to the top <laughs> with one inch blocks and I took some out and put it in a separate basket that I play with my son, but I still have all those left. I mean, I could make a different word for every holiday for like years to come. Okay, back on track. Today, I'm going to do the word believe. Um, so here's what you need. Hot glue gun, unless you don't want to permanently attach them, they, they would be cute separately too. Um, hot glue gun, uh, white labels. Um, three Sharpie markers, black, red, green, and scissors, and blocks, of course. Okay, so I'm going to show you um, what I did. So first, I just wrote out the letters freehand. This is by no means perfect. Are you, if you want your letters, you know, perfectly perfect, then I suggest you get a stencil or maybe um, like a die cut, you know, cut out the letters perfectly to put on there. Maybe you could mod podge them. But I don't need mine to be that perfect. I actually think it looks cute in a kid's room to have things not so perfectly perfect. Um, makes it more kid friendly. So, okay, so I, um, I wrote these just on, you know, like those um, name tags used for parties, like my name is. Go dig those up. Okay. So, I put this on, and I trimmed mine so that there was a little bit of the color of the block showing. Let me do it, you all, and then I'll show you. See, so that you can tell that this is a green block. And also notice that I alternated um, the Sharpie color that I used. So I used a red Sharpie on the green block and opposite for the red. Okay, then... With your black marker, you're just gonna do a very easy pattern all around. So it almost looks like stitching. You're gonna do a dot slash like this. Let me see if I can get close for you all. Okay, you're gonna do dot slash dot slash dot. And the wonderful thing about this is it doesn't have to be perfect. Slash dot slash and just do that all the way around oops that was really kind of messy but you'll see when I put it down you won't even notice the mess so I did that I think it's easier to write right on top of the block see do 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 all the way around okay now I'm going to do a little just a dab of hot glue right in the center and push them together till they set. Believe! So cute! Okay, now I'm also going to do um, a holly berry. So I want to show you, see this is one of those labels. I just fold it in half, 
fold it in half again, and one more time. So that I kind of had an idea how big the blocks would be. So let's just cut that holly berry out. And the I'm gonna trim it a little bit on the sides. Like I said, I didn't even measure this out really. I'm just trimming it in a little bit. Um, my corners on this particular label are rounded. Sorry, you all, that I stop talking. I can't talk sometimes when I'm working. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna peel it off. And I'm actually going to, since this has red and green, I'm gonna put it on a natural color block so that you all can see. Well, I'm having a hard time getting the sticker off. So you all can see what that looks like. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna put, see the holly berries? I just did two little circles in a leaf. I'm gonna put that on a natural color block. Oops, let me turn it around y'all and I'll put it on and then I'll show it to you. Cute. I'm gonna do the same little ticking around. I'm gonna do a dot and a line. All on all four sides. I had to put it down, y'all, because I was getting too messy. I know I just said you don't have to be perfect, but you don't want it to be ugly. Okay, see on a natural block, natural color. So I do know that they sell natural color blocks in craft stores like Michael's or Joann's. So if you didn't have blocks at home, you could go out and purchase um, those. Okay, so one more dot. Squish it together. Let me see if I can pull it back so you can see the whole thing. Can you see it? Believe! Isn't that cute? It was super, super easy. So dig up some old blocks um, and get the hot glue gun out. This was super easy. This was easy enough that like a kid could do it. So if you have an older kid, um, they could definitely do this project. I'm sorry I'm not looking at the camera. And I apologize for the hat. I know twice now you've seen me with hats on. It's because my son is in a play group called Play at the Park. And so we go to different parks all around town, different park each week, which is really fun. Because then you get to play at parks that maybe are not in your neighborhood and you wouldn't have thought to go to initially. Okay, anyway, so you may be seeing me in hats because I take my son to a play group where we play outside. All right, so believe. Go get your blocks. Have some fun. I'll see you soon. Bye.